This abstract by uh, uh, Mary Ellen Taplin and the group in Boston looks at the role of neoadjuvant hormonal therapy before radical prostatectomy in men with high-risk disease. And although work has been done before with neoadjuvant hormonal therapy uh, before radical prostatectomy going back to the mid-1990s, um, this has a completely new twist on it because what they did was they used standard LHRH analogs and then different durations of um, abiraterone acetate. And why this study is so different is that uh, the use of abiraterone acetate can drive the circulating testosterone levels down to uh, the lowest levels that can be, uh, that can be achieved because uh, not only do the LHRH analogs reduce the testosterone level, but what the abiraterone acetate does, it uh, interferes with the metabolism um, as an androgen biosynthesis inhibitor. So any tissue in the body, be it uh, the prostate itself, uh, the adrenal gland, or in the, any micrometastatic tumor deposits, uh, you're turning off the testosterone production. So they're getting extraordinarily low levels of testosterone in this particular trial.